you are so funny uh, and and so sharp, tweeting about our president often. And we're in this moment right now uh, where, of course, things have gotten to a level of insanity. It does really feel like it feels like we're living in Death Wish Three. Like <laughs> the streets are, you know. But you are, still seem to have kind of an optimistic attitude about well, the situation we're in right now, which is in, which fascinates me. You and I are big history buffs. You've caught me reading Robert Caro's LBJ books mm -hmm. and all of you know all of. Uh, uh, Reagan land and Nixon land and, and the invisible bridge and all those. So I, I, I try to look to history for comfort. But what I'm also realizing is Trump, as bad as he is, I, you know, he is the boomers last temper tantrum before they die. That's what we're looking at. Every generation as they get older mm -hmm. and they start to be realize they're being phased out. The boomers were like, we were the cutting edge. We were the disruptors. And now they're seeing, no, there's, there's, Gen X, there's millennials, there's Gen Y. That are, so, so they picked what's the last thing we can do to have a tantrum, and it was Donald Trump, the most awful, bloated white dude. And as bad as he is, I always tell my Gen X friends, and I try to tell millennials or whatever, like like I'm out talking to people, but like sure. like as bad as this tantrum is, just know that whatever our Gen X tantrum is going to be even worse when we are when we are in our 60s and 70s. We are going to have some crazy tantrum where we're, we know we were the cool ones and God knows who we're going to put up there. It's going to be Eddie Vedder or Janine Garofalo. And, and I love those two. I love Janine. She's a friend, but she would agree with me. She'd be a terrible president. She would take the White House and go, I, you know what? I'm just not showing up today. I, you know, yeah. I don't feel good. I'm not doing it. Or Eddie Vedder would be like, I'm just doing all the. All of the White House business is going to be done here on the, at the beach. I'm just going to be sitting by my surfboard. And I yeah. shudder to think what our temper tantrum is going to look like. You know, I just love the idea of uh, Eddie Vedder giving his State of the Union speech, but we can't understand him because he says yeah. it the way he sings. And it's like, on a dushy, on a shimmy, on a shimmy, on a shimmy, on Or the, the State of the Union, the first thing he'll say is, First off, this is all BS, okay? Do we all understand that all of this is nonsense? We shouldn't even be here, man. And so like, it'll, it'll just be, oh, it's, it's gonna be a bad tantrum. It's gonna yeah. be bad. Well, yeah. let me make sure I mention these things. I Love Everything is available to stream on Netflix. Uh, and do, uh, do feel free to put on the uh, closed captioning function. And uh, I'll Be Gone in the Dark uh, is fantastic. It airs Sundays at 10 o'clock p.m. on HBO, and it's available to stream on HBO Max. And uh, yes. it is a lovely tribute and a fascinating, fascinating story, so well told. Patton, I'm thinking about you. I'm here at Largo, and uh, we're holding down the fort. I've actually put a mattress in one of the two small dressing rooms on the floor. You're so going I, and, to the mattress. Yeah, and so uh, and 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 there's part of me that that when things get back to normal and comedians come back, I'm going to insist they keep the mattress on the floor and say that's the Conan O'Brien Memorial mattress. Yeah, well, you know, way high over your left shoulder, there's a pinata shaped like me. I see it right here. <laughs> there it is. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. You if you want. To and there's also a. I think I showed this online, but there's a. Um, she's a beautiful, beautiful woman. We all love her, but there's an absolutely horrifying crocheted pillow oh, with the face of yes. Sarah Silverman on it, which haunts my, it haunts my dreams. It's, it's truly haunting. I think Mark Cohen made that. And, uh, oh God, yeah, look at that. It's, this is a crime scene. <laughs> it is, yeah. Sarah, we love you and you're absolutely gorgeous. This, I don't think anybody looks good as a crocheted pillow. No, and also a crocheted pillow with someone's face on it, that's like found in Ed Gein's house. Like that, <laughs> that would be the caption of that. <laughs> it says serial killer written all over it. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. There's a lot of um, stuff here. Uh, I'm really, I think I need to spend a night here. Since there's a mattress here, I'm gonna probably sleep here oh, one night. Um, just, you know, just to see what happens. Conan, at night, all that stuff comes alive. I'm just letting you know, you don't wanna spend the night there. It's they all just, it all comes to life and they all just have sex with each other. <laughs> I was going to say they have a creepy dance party to calliope music and you went right to, they have an orgy. Yeah, they, well, they sorry. Yeah. You know, sorry. 
Sorry. Maybe it starts with your vision and ends with mine.